Chrysler and DeSoto had a big experiment in the mid-30s, and that entailed the Chrysler and DeSoto airflows. As you can see, it's quite a streamlined car, but if you're familiar with the airflow, you can see immediately that the stance of this car is not original, and further examination indicates it has a 350 cubic inch Chevy V8 and automatic transmission. So, this car is a resto mod. And you notice the twin vents there in the cowl, bringing fresh air into the car. And the original air flows, the windshield on both sides, uh, cranked out for ventilation too. It's a nice front end on this car, and very streamlined, a car with unibody, one of the first to have that uh, distinction. And you notice that the wheels, front and back, are set far apart uh, lengthwise, so that gave the seating area inside a position uh, that was uh, between the uh, wheels the front and the back. So there it was kind of cradled and gave a good ride. You can see those huge fender skirts there. All part of the idea of streamlining. I think they felt if they covered up the wheels there would be less uh, wind resistance. Suicide doors in the back. And when you look at the interior, of course it's a modern interior. Although the original interior was uh, quite advanced for its time. It was uh, framed in uh, metal. It looked like an airline seat, if you get my meaning. It was quite different. Very, very uh, Art Deco. The instrument panel looks uh, pretty original. There's that uh, plate there in the middle. I'm not sure what that covered up. But um, the gauges underneath suggest that the original gauges may not work as advertised. And this two-toning pattern was not an original kind of uh, two-toning. Seems to me most of these cars were a single color. Those ridged uh, bumpers were, as the sign says, they were the Soto origin. Fairly good sized trunk there. It looks like they added turn signals to the car. So it's been really updated, but the, the stance of the car being lower, I'd say, than the original is a, a little disappointing in that it kind of to me, spoils the uh, look of the original airflow. But again, on the other hand, it probably rides very well and in more comfort than the original car offered. Because that interior sure appears to be luxurious and it looks like it's uh, power seats too. Something that the uh, airflow didn't offer. Very interesting car. I don't usually video custom cars, but this one, any airflow is, is very important to me. I, I love to see them. And there are some around down here in Florida. But I don't remember seeing one customized like this.